Welcome to the second video update from me about the kind of things that I've been doing in the last month. I hope that this will be useful to people to understand what's been occupying my time and how things have been impressing me in the time that I've been here. So what have I been up to in the last four weeks? Well, it's been very impressive. I've spent some time with people across the force area understanding and listening to what is affecting them and the things which are important to them in delivering policing services in Lincolnshire. Some of that has been meetings with the public, such as meeting the rural community and the farmers union in Boston just a couple of weeks ago. And some of that has been with staff. Uh, I've met people in some of our stations down in the Deeping area and Bourne uh, and also down in Stamford. And I intend to do more of that in the month ahead. So what have I learned? I suppose the impressions I've gained are that we have a hugely committed staff who are doing their very level best in circumstances which are sometimes quite difficult. And so for me, it's about how can I hope and how can I invest and how can I support them uh, to do more with what they have in the future. Also, I heard from the public about some of the concerns that they have, uh, particularly around things like rural crime and hair coursing. Uh, and I'm speaking with people about how we can improve the way in which we deal with enforcement, not just from a policing perspective, but also working with magistrates and with courts around the way in which they deal with people that we report, but also looking at ways in which we can prevent this from happening in the future and also be better at gathering our information and intelligence and sharing it with people on the ground. Now, I understand that this is a real concern to people. And, and just to be clear, I do see this as serious, organised criminal activity. And therefore, it's something that I will be taking seriously in the months ahead and particularly as we get ready for things that happen in the September and October time of this year. Also, what I've been doing is trying to understand more about the very nature of the problems that face our communities. Now, I took part in a local phone-in on BBC uh, Lincolnshire, and people there were raising concerns around street lighting, around the issues that they face on people using mobile phones, which is part of a national campaign, uh, but also things that directly affect them, like parking and, and issues in relation to the use of pavements. Now, they might seem like very minor issues or very local issues, but they're hugely important and impactful on individuals' lives. And that's the very nature of our policing service, which not only takes place in local neighbourhoods, but also deals with the most serious and impactful of harmful crimes at the very most serious end. So that range of responsibilities that we have is something that is a significant challenge for us, and something that I will be taking forward in the future. I've really enjoyed the last four weeks. It's been really wonderful for me to meet people and, and hear about them because I have met so many upbeat people um, who are really enthusiastic about what they do and really committed to the service they deliver. And that, that's been recognised by others. Today, for example, we've had the release of HMI's report on effectiveness. And that's the third report we've had, the previous two on efficiency and legitimacy, which have graded us as being good. And that's down to you. That's the commitment that you've given. That's the service that you've given. And I think that's a real testament to your efforts and a real testament to those that have gone before me in terms of the leadership of the organisation. So I'm really proud to be taking over at a point in time when Lincolnshire is seen nationally as being good right across the board. My job, I suppose, is to maintain that and, where possible, to make us even better. And that's some of the focus and commitment that I will give as we move forward. So those early priorities I talked about last time, about the investment in people, about the well-being of our organisation, and about being able to close the gap between the expectations of the public and the service that they deliver, are still those priorities that I feel important uh, about. Uh, and I will certainly uh, do what I can uh, to invest my time and effort in improving them uh, for all of us as we develop going forward. So it's been a great four weeks. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I've met lots of interesting people and I've heard their concerns and I've heard the good things about what we do. And I'm really looking forward to taking that forward as I go across the force over the next month. Thank you.